from my last reading, the last flashback chapter from chapter 12. The title is Peace. The year was 2005. In the quiet air, I felt as though the stars were sparkling just for me. I began my descent, pushing past my bodily pain, serenaded by the distant sounds of howling coyotes, whose hungry cries encouraged me to increase my pace. For a brief moment, fear took a hold of me. And I halted and prayed, God, I need you. Then I tapped into my courage and let God guide me down the unlit trail. When I turned and looked back up the trail, I recognized the familiar sight of hikers adorned with hiking lights. I thought, why hadn't I brought a headlamp? Slowing my breath, I surrendered to the present moment. A soft halo of moonlight brightened the eastern sky. For a fleeting moment, the motionless moonlight had absorbed any lingering fears inside of me. I trusted that all the answers to my deep questions were within. Ah, this flat rock is just what I was looking for. I took a seat and connected to the calmness within the sky. Basking in my solitude, I turned inward towards a pathway to inner peace. The end. I'm still turning inward every day. Whenever stress is so overwhelming in life, I hope that you too can turn inward and find that quiet solitude. Thank you for sharing this journey with me of my readings from my memoir, Apple in My Truck, A Pathway to Inner Peace. And here's to the next chapters in my life and in your life as well. Namaste.